So there's no quantum computer in this world that will ever be able to like fully simulate the mind of God. It's literally fucking impossible. Like the only one who can do that is God himself. The reason as for that is because reality literally has infinite variables in every single direction you can possibly think of that are like const continually fluid and continually changing all the time. That you're talking about infinite mathematics that never stop expanding. You know, there's no ways you could develop a machine in order to calculate what only a spirit can actually calculate. So some people say, oh, we can decode God. It's like, it's to a degree, but nothing substantial to really be able to affect reality in the ways in which it is that people think it is that they can, which I assure you they cannot. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people, hey, PG, are very misguided within regards to the level of technological advancements and know-how in which it is that humans are currently accustomed to and aware of, meaning that humans are nowhere near as advanced as it is that they say they are. For instance, AI technology, which is currently being promoted as it is today, um, they're, ne they're never going to create sentience with AI, I can guarantee that right now. And if they do, they would be trillions of years away, to be completely, totally honest with you, within regards to humans' current level of intelligence, current level of development, current level of trajectory within regards to civilization and uh, events that would transpire that could act as potential roadblocks which could come in the way of technological evolution to the point where it could keep evolving and uh, as well as the human intellect keep evolving to the point where they could proficiently actually create um, um, sentience. But the problem is, is that humans don't even understand, not even 0 0.0000000000000009% of the brain, as well as consciousness, they actually don't at all. And I know they don't, because if you look at all of their medication and everything that they're prescribing, you know, you know, you're talking molecular chemical physics and so forth and so on and blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But basically, clearly the medicine doesn't work. Clearly they don't know what the fuck they're speaking about. Clearly they don't completely understand how the fucking body works. This is why so much research is dependent upon placebos, which just completely make any of their research completely abstract and alienated. Why do all medical research trials include placebos? That doesn't make fucking sense to me. Why? Because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. How can, how can, how can most of your testing be utilizing placebos that doesn't make fucking sense for your data that makes no sense at all that doesn't make sense so you know and then you've got every single rap sheet on any single medicine and all the effects uh, they don't know what the fuck they're doing if they knew what the fuck they're doing there wouldn't be so many negative side effects on each and every single fucking medication you can find in all existence you wouldn't find it at all like you know the thing about honey and fucking lemon is it doesn't come with the fucking rap sheet to potential uh, you know, backlashes you can have with that sort of whole herbal natural medicine, right? So humans are so fucking technologically incapable of fucking anything that it's fucking ridiculous. And when they go around and they promote all this shit, it's all bullshit. Oh, we're going to have a flying car by 2020, whatever the fucking, it's past then. You know, Elon Musk says, oh, our uh, AI self-driving cars will be self-driving by 2016, 2017, 2018. It's like, dude, all you guys are fucking around with is rudimentary machine learning. Do you realize that in order to actually be able to make an AI sentient? Oh my God. Well, first of all, you'd, it would have to be quantum. There's no, there's no ways you could actually make something sentient without utilizing quantum processing power as well as uh, quantum uh, uh, procedural mapping um, in order to create... Uh, a perceivable experience for a sentient, a technologically sentient being. How's that? So, so, in terms of uh, AI and uh, created sentience, uh, th th we're trillions of years away from doing that. So, <laughs> they can tell you as much as they want to about gene editing and AI and blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. You guys are all fucking idiots. You have no idea what the fuck it is you're talking about. Yes, you may have certain research projects and this and that, and you may have progressed machine learning to a certain level 
of 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 proficiency but you guys have no idea what the fuck it is you're speaking about are you telling me that basically you need to program machine learning in order to be able to consolidate uh, filter through and make sense algorithmically speaking of massive amounts of data which you're unable to which any single man or woman is unable to be able to go through interpret and calculate all of that data so what that means is that your fucking technological code is relying on creating some self-generating code that allows the uh, program in order to start learning how to make sense of certain things and then you would they would try to program that to start evolving and doing this and doing that and blah 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 it's so complicated and technical that there's no ways they're doing it there's no fucking ways anything any ai shit you're watching on tv is pre-programmed shit with just a certain level of machine learning and what's happening is people are all trying to jump on this bandwagon ai ai because the thing is all fucking money it all comes down to money is this the next craze oh ai 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 the thing is is that geez guys that shit got marketed what way too early like when i say way too early that shit got marketed like millions of years earlier than it should be marketed because that's how far it is we are from actually accomplishing the, that level of technological you know and then they, then they throw all this fear porn oh the ai and the robots and terminator guys you don't understand humans are so fucking primitive technologically speaking that we cannot create a fucking sentient ai and any supposed sentient ai it's bullshit news narratives bullshit fucking stories to sell news And remember, news gets sold. Eh? News is a product. By the way, I don't know if you, you people know that, but news is a, a fucking product. News makes money. It has revenue models, you fucking twits. How the fuck do you think that... Do you think that shit pays for itself? No, it doesn't fucking pay for itself. News is a product. If you haven't realized that already. It's a fucking product. And if you don't believe that, go look into the stakeholders of each news corporation and then you come and tell me that it's not a product. <clears throat> Very good product, very powerful product, propaganda product, very dangerous, but it's still a fucking product. Nonetheless, um, all the AI uh, demos and stuff you've probably seen are pre-programmed with this whatever level of machine learning. Like if humans cannot even figure out, and you'll have neurologists say, oh, we, we only have figured out 20% of the human brain. I'm like, you guys are talking shit. You figured out like not even 0.009% of the human brain, clearly. Because how can you, how can you when, when your, 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 your neurological studies are pigeonholed within one field of an area of expertise, what about every other single fucking biological um, um, and electromagnetic um, field of study that all correlates and interwines with one another? Okay, you can't have one field of study, neurology, to do with the body, and then you don't study every single other thing to do with the body, including the electromagnetic um, um, reality of the body. You know, our electrical nervous systems, our brain waves, the, the electricity our heart gives off, so forth and so on. So, like, you can't, like, a neurologist knows fucking nothing about fucking neurology, first of all, because they're not, they know nothing about fucking anything else. So they don't have enough information which is required. You can't just study the brain and not study everything else connected to the brain. I just told you that the brain emits um, electrochemical uh, fucking signals as well as brainwave signals and your body uses the electrical nervous system. So it all comes down to elect uh, electromagnetism which then correlates towards this and this and this and this and that. Which neurologists are not taught. You can go study the criteria within regards to, um, you know, their, their, their points of study. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great stuff in neurology that can teach you a lot of things which are very useful and beneficial. But when the neurologist says that we only know 20% of the human brain, it's like, no, you don't. You, you, because you, based on what you know in neurology, yes, you only know 20% of the human brain, prospectively. I mean, how can you even put a number on that? How do you even say that when you don't know? It's like saying, oh, we've figured out this percentage of reality. And it's like, how the fuck do you know that? If reality is infinity, how the fuck have you calculated that? That's the biggest sort of bullshit I've ever fucking heard. It's amazing how people just put numbers on stuff. And it reminds me of that book Bill Gates had on his table uh, when he was doing a certain interview, which was uh, how to lie using statistics. 
Okay? Statistics and numbers are used to fucking paint pictures of bullshit in our head continually all the time. But I have this to say. They don't know anything about the fucking human brain. They don't know anything about the fucking human body. They, if, they did, if, if, if they did, we would be immortal. No. Okay? And how far are we from immortality? Well, trillions and trillions of years. Unless you're a fucking uh, a wizard. Or a fucking Jedi. Or God, apparently. Only God can uh, open that key. Anyway, so don't be worried about all the AI shit and fucking nanotechnology and whatever. The fuck, we don't have the processing power. We don't have the fucking consistency within energy as well as resources. We don't have the, we honestly do not have that te technical know-how at all. We are so far, like you first have to understand how the brain works. And as I've just explained to you, we know nothing about the brain. So how can we know nothing about the brain and be close to making a level of sentience using technology, which is absolute bullshit. I'm sorry, we haven't even figured out the brain. In order to create a level of sentience within a machine, you'd have to actually be able to have extremely vast amounts of knowledge within regards to memory, consciousness, electricity, blah, 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 blah. It's so many fields, okay? And the brain and the human body would be the best case study to study that in order to use it as an example within regards to how it is you would go about building these AI systems and so forth and so on. And they even admitted to you, we use AI in order to give us ideas of how it is the brain works, which is like ridiculous. Like, like, like it's cool, it's interesting that they do that, but the point is, is that, like, are you really going to trust people who actually self-admittedly admit that they, they, they don't know anything about the brain to the point that they try to use AI to understand, conceptually speaking, how it is that the brain works? It's like, dude, you, you're actually not going to be able to create that. Like, yo, your AI may be cool, it may be good, it may be do some fun things. But we're talking about creating full-blown sentience. <sighs> we're trillions of years away from doing that. I can guarantee that right now. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and head on over to Patreon.